Thank you, Danny. Those deals are so bright. I got to wear shades and look, I even had them with me today because today is National Sunglasses Day. So let's celebrate. And of course, living and playing at higher altitudes means UV rays, UV rays, I'm sorry, can damage our eyes. And the Vision Council says kids and adults should receive regular eye care and make wear the right sunglasses. With us, Dr. Vin Vu, optometrist at Doctors Exchange change of Colorado to go over some important eye health information. Doctor, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you for having me today. Happy sunglasses day to you. Happy sunglasses day to yes, you. That gives us another reason to go shopping for some of those sunglasses we want. Absolutely. How can we celebrate today? Yeah, so we have a nice bright sunny few days yes. and we want families to go out and enjoy the outdoors. Um, but because it's so sunny, we got to mm -hmm. make sure we protect our eyes from those harmful UV rays. And the best way to kind of do that is with sunglasses. Yes, and you, you there's so many that sometimes it's hard to know which ones are going to protect you and our eyes are not like our skin. We really have to protect those from the sun. Can you give us some advice on that? Absolutely. So our eyes go unprotected. You know, we send our kids out, we tell them to wear the sunscreen, but with our eyes, we kind of forget about that sometimes. So by wearing sunglasses, you're protecting from those UV rays and UV stands for ultraviolet. They're the invisible ones mm -hmm. and they can cause lots of different things. Uh, Long-term damage, we're looking at things like like cataracts or in higher risk of macular degeneration. Of uh, in the short term, you can also get eye irritation. You can get excessive skin growth on the eyes and um, all these kind of just discomfort with the eyes. So it's really important that we protect them. Yes, it is. Now you touched on long term. Going back to UV exposure, why is that dangerous or harmful after a long time of being exposed to that? Absolutely. So UV rays are cumulative damage. So mm -hmm. it builds up over time. So that's why we really talk about the importance of protecting our eyes, even as kids, because it's going to build up and cause that damage as we get older. Oh, and we definitely do not want that. Okay, let's talk about the cloudy days. And I'm actually curious about this because I like to wear sunglasses all the time. Should we still be wearing them when it's cloudy? Now they say still wear sunblock <laughs> if it's cloudy. How does it work for eyes? Absolutely, the exact same thing. Uh, we call them sunglasses, but that can be a misnomer. Um, like previously said, the UVs uh, rays, those are the invisible ones. And so even on cloudy days, we're still getting that UV exposure, especially here in Colorado, when we're at higher altitude, we're getting a lot more because our atmosphere is a little bit thinner. Sure. So uh, definitely important on cloudy days and for those who like winter sports when you go up to the mountains. Wear those sunglasses. Okay, let's talk about what you brought today because I already like some of them. And, but what I really want to know is how do you select sunglasses and know that you're going to be protected or your eyes are going to be protected? Absolutely. So when we look for sunglasses, there's two main things we're going to be focusing on. Okay. The first thing is you want to make sure it's functional. We want that UVA yes. and UVB protection 100%. Um, um, if you're not sure if your sunglasses protect 100%, go to a reputable retailer. They'll uh -huh. be able to tell you. And if you're not sure, even some opticals can check for that as well. Uh, the second thing is, you know, we're moving into this phase where sunglasses are part of our our design, our personality. Yes, they so, are. So, you know, pick something that matches that. We have sunglasses that can be a little bit more classic, like the aviators. Right. Um, I can see your Ray-Bans and they're I, fantastic. I, I took them off immediately because they were crooked. <laughs> but they're so good. Um, okay. We have sporty glasses that can fit that. They give us more wrap and more protection from the outer edges. Um, and, you know, just time for June, we have, you know, somebody who can wear like pride glasses Those and just are uh, represent yourself a little yes. bit more. And so this is good information because I always consider that when I'm buying sunglasses, but then sometimes they'll throw some lingo at me and I'm like, uh, <laughs> and I'll just go with the ones that I personally like, but we do need to be protecting our eyes. Imagine what would happen if something went wrong. Because what are other ways that we can protect our eyes, especially during the summer months? Yeah, of course. So when we head into these summer months, besides the sunglasses, we really want to try to, you know, change our diets up, include those dark leaf leafy greens, um, things that are high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. We can try and include omega fatty three acids. You can find that in a lot of fish like salmon. Um, okay. I also recommend, you know, get out there and exercise. That's also really good. 
If you're not a smoker, don't start. If you are, reducing it or even quitting is great for your health. And lastly, uh, we really want to move away from what we call reactive healthcare, where we're trying to fix problems that are already there and okay. going to something called preventative healthcare, where we're trying to prevent things from becoming a problem in the first place. So annual visits with your local eye doctor can really help uh, prevent problems moving down in the future. That's good advice. I want to ask you about mm -hmm. the glasses you're wearing. Yes. They look clear, but those are actually protecting you. No, your sunglasses are the ones that are on here. You brought yes. some your own sunglasses. I brought my own sunglasses, but these are actually sunglasses as well. Oh. Um, these are what we call transitions. So for those of you who wear glasses and uh -huh. don't want to switch out pairs, these ones will turn dark automatically going outdoors, and they do protect against UV as do well. Do they really? Absolutely. I love it, and they look great <laughs> on you too. Thank you. So very nice choice. Well, thank <laughs> you so much for coming in this morning. That was very interesting information. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, we'll get the info on the importance of eye care for yourself and your family. Visit thevisioncouncil.org.